Hey friends, it's been a minute since I came here from the car line, um, and today I wanted to talk about the podcast. I love the Trim Healthy Mama podcast. I don't know if you listen to it, but I suggest it. I learn so much from talking to, you know, listening to the sisters. I feel like I'm talking to them. Um, you know, I just feel like I'm sitting down over a cup of coffee with them when I listen to the podcast. So, um, anyway, they talked about timing and about the importance of timing. And I have a group going right now um, where we are looking through the Trim Healthy Mama plan book. And then we'll be starting a Bible study in a couple of weeks. And we are learning why the timing is important and they shared that in the podcast today and I thought I would share one of my typical days the way they shared their typical day um, and the way they make Trim Healthy Mama work for themselves so just a brief explanation is they found in their research that it takes approximately three hours for your body to process fuel so when you're eating your e-meal, it takes about three hours, even a little bit less sometimes to consume the fuel. So here comes your insulin eating up the fuel. And at the end of that three hours, it's done consuming that fuel and it's ready for your next fuel, whether it's an E or an S or a fuel pull or a crossover. Keeping them separate by three hours gives your insulin that time to consume all the fuel that it needs. If you eat too soon, if you're not hungry, um, if you're just being snacky, um, and you're eating too soon, your body's not done consuming that first fuel. Then it has to stop that and move on to the next one. And all that leftover that it didn't finish consuming, right there, right to the gut or worse, the thighs and the butt. So, waiting that three hours is, is beneficial to give your body that time to do the work that it needs to do. So, to share my typical day, if you follow me on the Journey app, um, or if you'd like to follow me on the Journey app, I am Coach Dawn Dorsey at Grace Abounds Coaching. And I do my best to post all my snacks and meals. It doesn't always work out, but I try really hard. And there are other great coaches that are on there. A lot of my friends that I coach with are on there so that I can even watch what they're eating and maybe get inspired by the things that they're eating. And they also said in the podcast today that a, um, an update is coming soon that's going to allow you to put a timestamp on your photos of your food so that you have a visual reminder of when you finished or when you started your last meal. So that could help with your timing. But for me, I get up early. I get up around 4.35 o'clock and I come downstairs. I feed my kittens. I uh, get my computer out and turned on. I do my devotions on my computer. So I make a trimmy. It's 99% of the time it is a trimmy light. Oh, it's a fuel pull. So I use a tablespoon of the trimmy mix and a teaspoon of MCT oil. And I use my frother. And if you've seen the pictures, it's just a beautiful, creamy looking, tasty drink. So that's my first fuel, and that's usually between 4.30 and 5 o'clock in the morning. I do my devotions. I check my emails. I hop on Facebook for, you know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then I go about my day. Now, I get my kids up. I make their lunch. I make sure they have their breakfast, and we get out the door by about 7.15. Sometimes I take a shake with me. Um, sometimes I wait till I get home. It depends on what my day is like. If I don't have anything going on, I come home and I have an e-breakfast around, oh, eight, maybe 8.30. So then I have lunch around somewhere between 12 and 1. 
and it's either an E or an S. Um, usually at three. Iced coffee. And I gotta tell you, while I'm making this iced coffee, I generally have about two skinny chocolates. Every day. It's my treat. And it's my joy. And my iced coffee is about this much coffee and then I put um, unsweetened almond milk to the top, unsweetened, unflavored, and a dunk of stevia. So this is considered a fuel. It's more than just a couple of tablespoons. So this is my afternoon snack with my skinny chocolates. And then I eat dinner usually right around 6 or 6.30. Um, tonight it's a salad. Our salads generally are S because we do have um, an avocado or cheese. Um, sometimes it'll be a mayonnaise-y, um, like tuna salad, egg salad, something like that. Sometimes I'll throw bacon on. Lately, my favorite salad has just been mixed greens, um, tomato, cucumber, uh, a straight up can uh, or pouch of tuna. And then I make my own dressing with um, no oil. So I'm really just getting a fuel pole salad, but it's so good. And it's about as big as I can stand it. Um, and then if I snack at night, I make um, a version of the peanut butter chocolate that Sarah Hardy did. And what it is is basically a tablespoon of cocoa a tablespoon of peanut flour, and a tablespoon of gentle sweet. And then I just put some milk in it, some almond milk, um, until it's creamy enough. And that's kind of what my snack is. Sometimes it's nuts, um, but I try to keep it more of a fuel pull. I love gluky pudding, but if I don't have gluky pudding in my fridge, then it's, I call it frosting. It's the other stuff. So that's my day. I don't know if that's inspiring to you, but I hope that it helps. And I hope that you'll start listening to those potties. They are really great and full of so much good stuff. Thanks for being with me, friends. And remember, we need the food to live. We need Jesus for our life. Bye.